guys, what's up? It's Sunday now. It's been like four or five days into my journey of weight loss and fitness. I started the video a couple days ago and I just slept all day, man. I was tired for two days we've been sleeping. But they've been up late night, so it was about late night. I'll show y'all what I'm doing and what's been popping off and stuff like that. But right now, I'm trying to put Pooter to sleep. I'm the whining and stuff. And at the same time, I've been trying to clean up, man. It is so hard. I'm too good. You just whining and messing up everything. Okay, okay. If you want me to change the channel, I'll be back. The does don't fit. Now it's hard to um clean up this stuff. I know you're like, uh, but you lay down. You could just be up cleaning up while you running around and stuff like that. Listen, man. You get tired of doing the same thing over and over and over again. Okay. There's a box over there in that corner. All the boxes in the corner, so like that. You keep taking the stuff out the box. And then they end up all the way over here on the floor and stuff like that. And that's garbage I'm about to take out in a couple minutes. That bag right there and that buck right there garbage. But we keep throwing stuff on the floor. For some reason, they keep taking this, like, even that, this go to the little body pillow. That little pillow right there goes to the little body pillow. I gotta find the case. He lost both the remotes. Both of them. Well, it's like three remotes. And they go to the different TVs, the uh, living room TV and this TV. He lost two of them that was in here. Third one is like, need new batteries and stuff. But listen, hey, he been up since <sighs> he been up since eleven last night because my mom called me at eleven. And when she called me, my phone woke him up. He been up ever since. Y'all, you understand? It's like. One o'clock right now, yeah, it's one, one fifteen. He'd been up since eleven last night. I ain't had no nap, nothing. He ain't had no nap, nothing. Well, let's say eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one. So he gonna tr probably go sleep around like four ish. You just hit yourself in the eye. Come here, come here. You just hurt your eye. Come here. You know, so that's play pen. He got his play pen all tore up. Now listen. Tell y'all what he's doing. Look. Every time he hit the commercial, he starts spazzing. He got this broken down. Y'all might think this is weird. It's not. It's really not. <sighs> so my thing is, when he get 12, oh my goodness, when he get 11, 12, that's going to be a whole nother, um, 
bag of stuff. But potty training going okay. The problem is that I get tired and my wife sad to say she, she can't really do much. Um, like she'll be at work and then she'll come home and she'll be hurting. Stuff like that. She's taking med- medication. Stuff like that. And then she out. And then they try and put her on. Uh, forget what this medicine called. Um, start with an L or something. Something like that. But it's a muscle relaxer. I'm trying to keep singing out. That's what he's doing. You can see. But he put her on muscle relaxer. But she don't try to take it. Because it put her out. out. And a lot of her medication put her out. So. So, <laughs> it's a, and I'll peep this, this trick too. I gotta wait till he go to sleep yeah. to do stuff. Or try to do stuff while he run around, but yeah, I give him stuff to keep him occupied. But he's so sweet and nice and kind that when I'm doing stuff, he wants to be with me and help me, right? Let's help go the other way a lot of times. He start playing with stuff and try to take stuff from me, like the vacuum. So, because he wants vacuum. And so, so, it's like, oh my gosh. <sighs> Him, himself, out all of them so far. It's like the one that I be having to like be real hands on with. Out all of them, but I gotta like literally watch him all the time. Um. Like, you know how some kids, you could, like, sit in a room and peep your head in every once in a while, something like that, do something over here, or just put them in a room with you, and you can, like, watch dishes and turn your back. Not this one. <laughs> Not this one. You can't turn your back on them. You, you gotta like keep him in your eyesight because ain't no telling what he might get into because he a curious kid and he be wanting to learn everything and to the point sort of like me this is where he do what he, this is what you get from me to the point that he uh, disassembles everything to figure out how it works but me I always had the urge to put stuff back together and I never gave up until I put it back together and made it work so like my things was things that was broke I like to fix things that's broke or that's wrong not the right way stuff like that or something that's out of order or something like that correct stuff but he'll, he'll take it apart and then leave it like that and then scatter all the pieces all across the world. <laughs> like one one piece could be across the street. Like to this little fan that I keep in my office. He took it out of my office, took it apart. One piece could be in the living room, one piece could be in this room, one piece could be way across the street, another piece could be way across town somewhere. And you'll never know. And that's just <laughs> That's why like, I found one earring, one of my diamond earrings, because I bought, I got some big diamond earrings I got to get fixed. It's them all of them broke. 
how? I don't know. Got them repaired, and then as soon as I got them back home, um, a couple of days later, last soon as I got back home, a couple of days later, they broke, yeah, so I got them put up. And, but at the same time, I bought some smaller diamond earrings that match them, and I was rocking those, so when I got the big ones fixed, I put the smaller ones behind it. You know, I have room enough to put behind it because I got two holes in each ear. But I only got one of them right now. And I just found that one. And it's because he had it. He just magically had it. Just magically just had it in the tent in the bedroom. And I think the other one in here somewhere too. But he loves my jury. He loves jury in general. I'm going to give him some jury. He takes he takes real good care of jury. Like it's amazing what he does. Like I let him um wrap the little chain and stuff like that all the time, and he would take real good care of it. I think he even hid that chain somewhere. He hid it in the room somewhere so he know where it's at. So when he get ready to wear it, I'm like, "Where your chain?" And then I'll leave, come back. He got it. Like that type of stuff. So it was just crazy. See right now he just cooling out. So now I gotta wipe the mirror again. Let's see it's a commercial. Look, it's back on. But the mirror. The walls. This is what happened to the mirror. I wiped that mirror down. I wiped that mirror clean every day. And this is what I say about doing the same thing over again. And you can't just like beat them or anything like that. Like that, it, it, it'll be ter tragic and terrible. He likes to draw and paint and things like that. And he got that arching. So he takes stuff that he thinks that he could paint with or something with color in it and he'll smear it on the mirror with fingers and stuff like that and draw pictures and stuff with it. Mind you, he only three. So we got another artist in the Ebony Empire camp. So, kind of don't get mad at them, because I know what it is, but I do get upset of having to clean it up over and over again, and like this wall up here, when the bed was here, which I just threw out. You said, why? Because you spin it around and you're tripping over stuff and you keep climbing and stuff. That's why. Did you hit your head? So I pushed you. I just seen him fall. I think he tripped over the thing. He looked up and said, why? And he's looking in the mirror and stuff. Hold up. See, that's how he talk. How he talk, he whisper.
And so, yeah, man. But like I was saying, I'm drawing on the walls and stuff a lot. It's like painting on that mirror. What's on that mirror is candle wax. He literally stuck his finger into my candle. Got the candle right here because he picked can he get put the candle up and like trying to pour the wax out and keep digging the finger candle and, and put it on the mirror. So it's another thing I, I gotta do. And oh yeah, that's just the bedroom, you know. This will be going on on daily basis. And this is not the light. I'm, I'm just telling y'all what's going on, man. It's like... I'm giving y'all insight. Well, a lot of people want to be YouTubers. And, or want to work at home or be content creators or do something and stuff. That, but I'm showing y'all now. Yeah, I understand what y'all going through. And what be happening and stuff like that. Cause ain't no telling. And some people got situations like this, and some people don't. And you be trying to make a schedule and stitchy schedule. And oh my goodness. And you gotta really plan. Like all this stuff, right? See, there go my bedroom. It's right there. I'm gonna put those in the garage. Got this new bedroom set. It's supposed to be coming. Um. They said get to the store on Monday, and they'll take it from there. Um, yeah. I'm hoping they could deliver it Monday. I already talked to them, but they probably deliver it Tuesday or something like that. So, and yeah, we're supposed to get a new liberal set. I'm trying to wait. Who got the best ball? I'm trying to wait to um. I move, but we don't know when that's gonna happen. Cause the room I said I want it's like too big for this living room and this and get through the doors. I already basically know that because it was hard getting the throne up in here, and that's just one chair. So imagine getting a whole love seat like that in here. And then a whole full couch, like, in here like that. And then they got this lounge, Chase Lounge, that go with it. So that's already three pieces. And then you got the tables and stuff that I want to get go with it. The only thing is, I don't know what type of table to get. If I get a table... They gotta have like a red marble top or some junk like that. If I could find something like that, that'd be hard. And then the marble top when we move, I'm gonna give to one of the uh, girls, or I'm gonna give it to um one of the kids, whatever. I'm give them a bedroom set and get them a little mattress. And then I'm going to. Um, Get the bedroom set I really want. So yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know what I'm gonna do. <sighs> I do know what I'm gonna do, but you know, cause you gotta remember the refrigerator this stuff you gotta do. I gotta clean the refrigerator. Like Oh, goodness. I gotta clean the refrigerator, but you know, you gotta like empty everything out, wipe down and spray the whole inside, clean everything out, defrost the freezer, clean that all out, then clean the outside, and you clean the stove and the oven and stuff, which means you gotta wipe everything down, spray everything down. Clean inside the oven, out outside a stove, oven, all that stuff. Oh my goodness! 
Then I gotta wipe down the dryer because the dryer right next to the um stove. Sweep my floors, wipe everything down in there, the walls, all that stuff. Now I'm doing this now. I do it about once or twice a month. Wash the walls and all that stuff. And then, um, yeah, so I got to wash the walls, especially in the kitchen, because the grease ain't no vent. See, it's little stuff that you got to think about when purchasing a home or renting a place. Stuff that a lot of people skip on or don't think about. They just take for granted. And that's why I try to tell my wife, like, there's a lot of stuff in this place that's missing. Where we at now? There's a lot of things that's missing. And I'm trying to communicate to her like you can't be so anxious to just want to do something. Because listen, man, before we moved in this place, she ruminated about moving in here. Like, she was thinking about it all the time, all the time, all the time, bugging me about it all the time, all the time. So, and she manifested herself a nightmare. No. <laughs> that's a joke. That's a joke. It, that's how you manifest stuff. Just think about it all the time, ruminate about it. But you want to do positive stuff, good stuff, you got to make sure, you got to check it out, make sure that you really want it. Because you're going to end up getting it. And when you end up getting it, at first it'd be a dream come true. And then if it's not everything that you thought you cut out, it'll be a nightmare. You know what I'm saying? So, like closet space, Vent systems, there's no um, ventilation system in the bathroom, no ventilation system in the kitchen. That's bad. Because if you don't keep airing it out and leaving windows open from time to time and stuff like that, mold will build up. Wherever it's water, you need a ventilation system. Wherever it's water, you need a special type of electrical system mainly what I mean is you need um, safe electrical plugs and things like that wherever there's water you just need certain stuff man I mean, you use certain filters and drains and stuff like that, man. Like, imagine your kitchen get flooded. If you don't have a drain somewhere in the floor. Certain places made like this. Not all places made like this. But ideal is to have like some type of drainage system in the floor so that it won't mess up everything. You know what I'm saying? We got if it get flooded like in here, if it get flooded, it's gone straight to the basement. Yeah. Ain't got no choice but to go straight to the basement. Yeah. And then it's gonna get behind the walls. And start getting hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold throughout the season. And what happens is mold build up. <laughs> so, like, stuff like that. You get what I'm saying? So, not only is it going to get in the basement and get moldy in the basement, it's going to get in the walls and get moldy in the walls. So, like that. So, I've been looking for stuff, and I've been, like, It's been like a fight 
and I don't know why it'd be like a like we keep she keep it's not we keep bickering she keep bickering with me and she's like what about this place and I'll be like no and she's like well we could see it why would I go see a place I don't want to live in and that's the problem that I've been trying to express to her like first of all I don't want to live in a four bedroom I want five and up that's just basic I need multiple bathrooms preferably bathroom per every room I do world I have a bathroom for every room. It'd be like a seven, eight bedroom, right? And then on top of it, it had like two, three guest bathrooms. I do world. Then I don't want it to be in the middle of the city. So you keep looking at places in the city. I don't want it to be in the city. And then on top of it, you can fill out the applications for places that I don't want to move into. And she go with this nonsense. Oh, well, we could do it just for now. We just move in there just for now. Just for now, I've got us this place. You know what I'm saying? What happened is the place that I planned on moving into, I filled out everything, paid for everything, stuff like that. When it was time to move, it wasn't ready. So I decided to stay at the house across the street. The house across the street. My grandma stay here. And my wife couldn't really stand it. She couldn't take it. And she was pregnant at the time. But I'm trying to tell her, like, we just waiting for this place to get ready. And well, when it's going to be ready, it's never going to be ready. Da, 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 da. And, you know, you try to be nice and kind. I think about her feelings and stuff like that. But you gotta find some type of milk ground. Like, yo, we just waiting for them to fix the, for this fix the place. Meaning that it was taking so long because everything in the place was brand new. Had three bathrooms, six bedrooms. It had two living rooms, a living room and a parlor room. But two living rooms. A dining room and another big space off of the kitchen. And then they had a bedroom outside the kitchen. But in that big space, in that big space before the kitchen, it was a bathroom. I could score, I showed you guys already. I don't know. That probably was, I got to look back. I might post it. And mind you, it was in the city still, but it was like closer to downtown. Actually, around the corner from here, though. But it was closer to downtown, and it was like on a little quiet side street. You feel what I'm saying? Like, quiet, nothing happens over there. Then, it was a, a room inside of a room, so a jacket. Yo, type set up so we could have our room and they had the babies in the same, same room kind of but we have our own little separate space so they could go sleep back there and we'd be right here and that'd be like that you know what I'm saying and all we had to do was just sit there and wait another month for another finish 
That's all you gotta do. She couldn't wait. It was like May. She couldn't wait no more. She got tired of fed up sitting here bickering with me about how she wants her own space and all this stuff and da da da, which is understandable. You know, they're playing this up. So. Yeah. Plus, with me. It, was, it made me get in this place. It made me come look and stuff. And, uh, and I, you know, I'm tired. Um, yeah, so I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. Mm hmm. Yep. And then we get back to us. I said, yeah, we move over there. But I don't want to hear nothing. You hungry? You hungry? <laughs> Give him something to eat. Right. Yeah, that's what happened, man. That's how we got up in here. It's crazy. Because this same spot that I was in. When I was little, when I was 12 ish. So, yeah. I just feel I find that to be crazy. Like, I never imagined being back in this apartment. Mind you, it's a three bedroom apartment, but we too big for this. Too big for this. Seven kids. Like, I know what you're thinking, but it, it was thinking right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I ain't gonna fight. Now, now I gotta go through her roommate about how she regret living in here and moving in here. And how she feel like everything's her fault and everybody mad at her and all this stuff. And it's like a whole bunch of stuff that's like just in her mind. Like we mad we here. We not mad at you. We just mad at the fact that we can't find nothing that's suitable. You get what I'm saying? And you not making it any better by pressing us. Actually, that's how we feel and stuff. <laughs> Uh, we ain't even thinking about it. We just looking for places, me and the kids. We just looking for places and go through our phones and stuff like that. But it's like she going in the opposite direction. We looking at five, six bedrooms. And she was trying to find a four. Like, it made no sense. We got Desire and Asia and two babies. One a boy, one a girl. Eventually, they gonna have to have their own room as a boy and girl. A teenager and a preteen, they need their own rooms. So that's already four bedrooms. So where are we gonna sleep at? Well, we need a five bedroom. What about Jaden Majesty and Jada if they come over? They Jaden Majesty need their own bedroom. So that's two more. So they're already six, seven. And then Jada she a teenager. That's eight. Unless we put ah. Nashi in room with Nye and Jaden in room with Desire. Jaden still gonna need his own room. I mean, yeah, put Nashi in room with um, yeah, Nashi in room with Nye, Jaden in room with Desire. We still gonna need six, seven bedrooms, seven bedrooms. We're gonna need our bedroom. Jaden gonna need his own bedroom. But we gonna put Jaden in the room with Pooter. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing about having big families. We gotta figure all that stuff out. And then it's not Nia and Majesty always bump heads. So that'd be crazy. So mm, I'll figure it out. What? Gigi called me. I'll be.
<laughs> Gotta get this back in the office. That's why this looking like this. I'm taking everything out the office. I'm rearranging shit. No, get out of my bed with it. Dude, blanket, teddy bear, so. He did all that. <laughs> Never let him stop. But this is what he be doing. Also, see, making little characters and stuff like that all the time. So, you gotta fight. Yeah. But yeah, this is his little lunch slash snack. Because after this, he get a smoothie with vegetable and fruit in it. As he like to drink his food for some odd reason. I guess he feel like it's quicker. So he'll eat the Pop Tart. But the only thing bad about Pop Tarts is it gets in the carpet. Then you gotta get in your hands and knees and scrub it out. That's what I hate. And then he'll climb in the bed and get all in the bed. And we're gonna sleep. Alright, guys. I'm real tired now. So I'm gonna let him sleep. I gotta take him out of his car seat. Lay him in his playpen. Car seat over there. Take Miracle out of her car seat too. But I take her out. She might wake up. So, but yeah. And then I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. I think I might straighten up some more. But I know I'm about to throw this garbage out. But do it like this. He took the um, filter apart. The air filter. He took the fan apart. Tight stuff. That's all right. At least I was able to vacuum for it. I'll get vacuum again because we just got this part tire all over the place. But Gigi calls and I'll be back. You know, I ain't even front. Also, I'm making. I'm doing this right now, like showing y'all what's going on because a lot of my sons, you know, <laughs> my little brothers and stuff, little homies and stuff, they they come into the time where they think about having kids. Also, and I try and show them like what be really going on, you know what I'm saying? Like, you be thinking you got help and stuff, but sometimes you're not going to have that much help. So, like, if I had one right now, that would be different. But I got two. And then I got a highly active one. They both real active, but he highly active. So, like, Miracle, she just go off to herself, dance and sing in the mirror or play Pooter, he don't go off to no corner and do nothing. He's all around the house. He interacts with everything. Everything moving, he going. So, yeah. That's the thing. So, you have the one, and then later on down the line, you have another one, like when you baby five or six or something like that. I think that's how you should do it. But, yeah. I'll be back. She called me again. Don't drop another one.